Ladies and gentlemen, we are 13 nights away from NSW Royal Rumble. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. My name, of course, is Dave Easton, and I am alongside the one, the only, Mass Freeway. Good evening, Dave. It's going to be a great night of action. And we are ready, Maz, for what could be an action-packed night of Raw. As always, two number one contendership matches tonight, United States title and, of course, the tag team titles. The number one contenderships will be decided to see who faces the champions at the Royal Rumble. Yep, it'll be very interesting, interesting to see which uh, the NSW uh, superstar walks out as number one contender. Yeah, and of course, this is your main event tonight. You will see Travis Soul take on the number one contender for the heavyweight title. It is Sheamus, and of course, the world heavyweight champion will be in Travis Soul's corner. This should be very, very interesting. It should be very interesting to see what uh, Brian Fox is up his sleeve to thwart Sheamus's attempts to take his title. Yeah, and that is going to be 30 nights when Sheamus gets a shot at Ryan Fox. We will find out a little bit later on. Now, this happened a little bit earlier on this evening, guys. And we have big news coming out this evening. I'll let the pictures explain it itself. And you tell me, Maz, who's missing from this picture? Oh, we've got Travis Soul, who's in the main event tonight here. So, and looks like AJZ and yep, there's Killer Whale in his street attire. Very interesting costume. Um. Who's the... Who's uh, the... Joe Disney is not here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And we got word today that apparently he's he's been tied up somewhere. We have not tied up literally, but he's been... He's away on a business and apparently will not be here tonight. Maybe we'll be seeing some... Uh, maybe new Disney Alliance members showing up or maybe he's really busy with uh, what's going on at NXT. We'll find out. Making his way to the ring, we're going to kick things off Raw with singles action. Making his way to the ring, he is Jason Miller. Former MMA star, now here in NSW. We'll see how his uh, in-ring style can transition here to the wrestling ring. Of course, he had these problems with Biggie Langston. Of course, Dustin Healy got involved last week. And Miller will be looking to get revenge over Dustin Healy somewhere down the road. Miller, though ready for action tonight on NSW Raw. Man, there's been a word in the background, uh, in the backstage that they still oh, oh, don't oh, get oh, along. Hold on, hold on. What, that Dustin Healy? Now what's going on here? Looks like Healy wants to challenge him to a fight. Well, he's not supposed to be a scheduled opponent here. I don't know. All hell is breaking loose here. Well, they're going to have to pull oh, them like, two apart. I think, well, I think that well, that match is not now going to happen, but we're now backstage with the Hounds. Let's see what the Hounds want. I mean, they're former tag team champions. Like, well, that, that, well, that is strange. Well, apparently we've been told Dustin Healy and uh, Jason Miller being pulled apart backstage here. As, well, it looks like we're not going to be having that match now. And of course, the Hounds not in number one contendership for the tag titles tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is, um, well, Ricardo saying if they can beat uh, the Russian Connection tonight, they're going to be in the Royal Rumble. Well, about, I can at least give them a chance to possibly get a title shot at uh, WrestleMania. That's true, but I'm sure the Hounds are unfinished business with Zadlan in Tim Ridge. I'm sure that is far from finished. But the Hounds now have a chance to be in the Rumble if they can beat the Russian Connection a little bit later on this evening. We're about to see what happens with uh, the Hounds tonight here against the Russians. It's true. Well, Ricardo laying down the law and also giving them a chance. But now we're ready for a singles action, ladies and gentlemen. Making his way to the ring. He's from Battle Creek, Michigan. He is Evan Walker. We'll have to see how Evan Walker can bounce back from last week. See if he can get back on the winning track here. He's going to have a tough opponent though, I think. Yes, indeed. Evan Walker taking on Brent Starr in our opening matchup. And well, 
Evan looking to really try and get back on track after he was on such a roll to be to lose last week um, was a bit of a a bit of a downfall for him here in that uh, number one contendership match. Let's see if he can get back on track against Brent Starr tonight. Yeah, I'm thinking this match may have a little bit of a uh, little bit of leftover beef from uh, the match on last Monday night. Yeah, of course, them two going at it. So let's see if Evan Walker, um, well, if he can take his frustration out, you would see, because he's not been a happy camper all week. And now he gets to take it out on this man. Because making his way to the ring, he is Brent Starr. All right, well, let's see if uh, Brent Starr can get a little bit of revenge against uh, Evan Walker here tonight to possibly get himself back into the winning ways and maybe back on the chance to recapture his title that he lost. Well, Brent Starr, of course, so unlucky in the match last week. Wanted to get back into being number one contender. Didn't get it happen. And, well, what happens? He's now going to have to try and get revenge on uh, Evan Walker here tonight. And, really, you've got to think... Uh, Maz, Brent Starr, not been really, it's been up and down the last few weeks for him. And he had that little bit of burst of uh, momentum, and then ever since he won the title and Bray Wyatt came in and took away from him, he's just been on a downslide ever since. And He's had a couple of opportunities, but hasn't been able to cash in on them yet. Will he be able to cash in and win his opening match here tonight? Let's get started. Maz, as always, who are you going for in this one? I think I'm going to go with Evan Walker. I think he's going to have a little bit more than Brent Stark can handle here tonight. Look at this. Already on. Oh, nice. Backbreaker already to start things off. And of course, Mads, we are 13 nights from the Royal Rumble. So much uh, buzz going around the locker room, of course. Superstars have been have been seeing how desperate they're trying to get into this Royal Rumble match. And of course, with spots so limited, you've got to think the GMs are going to have to, well, you're going to have to get in their good books, really, to get in the Rumble. Yeah, it's uh, win big now or you're not going to probably make it into the Rumble. I, I think a lot of the GMs here in NSW are going to look at people that are on winning streaks to get them into the, the Rumble to see a good match at WrestleMania. Mm, of course, Rumble, of course, 30 men going for that main event spot. You're guaranteed the main event at WrestleMania to end Season 2. Cesaro, of course, won it last year. And really, many people at the time didn't think Cesaro was going to win it. So it could be... We, just, we can't really put a favourite on who's going to win the match because it could be at literally any, anyone, sorry. Yeah, it could even be uh, one of the uh, one or two NXT stars that may make it into the Royal Rumble to get a chance. And, yeah, and as you see, these two guys are desperate to get in the Rumble. Surely a win here tonight will surely more than likely guarantee them a place in the Rumble. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the apps going for Brent Starr in this matchup. Brent Starr has gained in popularity over the last um, couple of months, especially um, after a certain Oliver Bisping called him the main event player. Sort of picked up from there, and he went on, obviously, to win the title. Obviously, he got cashed in on, but he can always say that he held the title. Yeah, he got to the big game, was able to win the title. So, hope to see if he can get back there again. Yeah, look at this, into the cover, hook of the leg. And only a one too early in the matchup for this. And of course, guys, please do keep your tweets coming, of course. As nice flapjack by Evan Walker. Taken out, Brent. So, of course, guys, get your retweets in. If you're on Facebook as well, Facebook, get everybody, tell, tell everyone where we are here tonight. And you've got to see so far, Maz, Walker has been impressive. Yeah, it's been definitely impressive and not being able to let uh, Red Star kind of get any momentum started. And look at this, Walker, big shot to the back of the head. Walker trying, if he can hit that RKO. Oh no, seeing that, look at this, Star now has him up on the top. Walker took a little too much oh. time up on the top there. Yeah, and nice down, oh there it is! Nice shot right across the back of the head. And look at this, Star now building up a bit of momentum. Maybe looking for that double drop kick, neck breaker combination. There's the drop kick. Ducks under, swinging neck breaker, middle of the ring. Can he get 
Oh, look at this. Has him up. There it is. The, the, the power bomb into the cover. No, just a one early on here. A little bit more uh, resilience than you left in uh, Evan Walker here. Yeah, look at it. Start now trying to build on this momentum. Nice release suplex. Start land on the back of his head. That could damage a few brain cells in that. Now what's going to happen here? Start has him poised. Oh uh oh. Oh my God. Oh Go wow. Power bomb. Oh. Power bomb to That's the definitely outside. Gonna, yeah, it's going to take it out of uh, Evan Walker, I think. Yeah, but you've got to think that has Sorry. to take some things out of Star as well. Yeah, it's going to take a lot out of both of them, but I think Evan Walker got the worst of it, so I think Star needs to look to try and finish this match up soon. He's going to get the win. Look at this. Oh, Star though, taking advantage, and look at this. A really suplex throw of his own. Star now trying to take advantage and change the tide here. And the referee's got a 10 count to play with back inside the ring. And look at this. Star. Oh, there it is. Middle of the Star ring. Star cutter. Star cutter. And it is over. Say goodnight. Evan Walker. Brent Star picks up a huge win here tonight. Could his star be rising? We'll have to wait and see. Well, it's definitely not faded out because Brent Star picks up a huge win here in our opening contest on Raw. Yeah, we'll to see what's next for uh, Brent Star. Will he make it into the Rumble? Will he walk out as the Raw Rumble winner? Well, if many people have a favorite going into the match, maybe, maybe Brent Star might just be the fan favorite going into the match. Yeah, we'll have to see how Brent Star will do. Well, big win here tonight for Brent Star over Evan Walker. And we are backstage with Renee Young. And, oh well, she is with one of the teams in the number one contendership match for the tag team titles a little bit later on. And that is Matt Rhodes and Mike Schaller. Let's see what they have to say here. It'll be interesting to see what they have planned for their tag team uh, number one contender match. Yeah, and of course, they're going to be facing AJ Z and Killer Whale number one contendership a little bit later on. Of course, well, Matt Rhodes could go into the Rumble and come as just the hardcore champion. And this moment in time, can't come out a double champion if he can win tonight and then win at the Rumble. Of course, obviously, it could be said is if Ricardo thinks he a hardcore match, he could go into the Rumble with nothing. Or Gregory Long could possibly have two matches at the Rumble, maybe one on E defending his hardcore title, and then if he gets number one contenders here, he might have to. Wrestle up the pay per view. The possibilities, Maz, of of what could happen that night is a lot. Of, whoa, hold on! Look at this! Out of nowhere, the team they'll be facing have took them out. I guess with Disney not here, the alliance is gonna run amok on everybody. Well, that's it. When the leader's not here, everything goes to, to goes away, as you could say. And now we're gonna have to move on for tag team action because making their way to the ring Zadlan and Vladimir with their manager Yuri Watson they are the Russian connection it'll be very interesting to see how they do here in this matchup uh, the Hounds need to get the win to get in the rumble will the uh, Russians stop them from making it in uh, we will find out because the Hounds guaranteed a, a, a shot at the rumble if they win here tonight but these guys have been on such a roll recently um, that you would say, well, there's going to be difficult opponents, especially with Yuri Watson out there. Yep, the Hounds are going to have to definitely watch out for Yuri out there. He's going to cause a little bit of havoc for them. But I think the Hounds are a well-formed tag team that they might have enough to take down the uh, Russians here. That's true, because their opponents, Leo Mercer and Jason Crew, they're collectively known as the Hounds. The Hounds have uh, been a little bit off their game since losing their title, but they've been looking to get back in the hunt. Hopefully they can get a win here tonight and get into the Royal Rumble. Yeah, defeated by AJZ and Killer Whale last week right here on Raw. They now 
have to go and really win here tonight to get any chance of getting to the rumble. Yep, this is their one chance to make it onto the rumble card and hopefully they can win here and get into the rumble and possibly walk out of it in a number one contender spot for the world title. Yeah, because don't forget the Russian connection on the other side. Dangerous opponents can beat anyone on their day here. Maz, who are you going for in this one? I'm going to have to go with the Hounds. I think they're going to want it more than the Russians right now. and They're going to want to prove that they're still the one of the number one tag teams around here on NSW Raw to be reckoned with. And you've got to say, Maz, the tag team division here on Raw is superb. We've got so many good tag teams who can go for the title at any time. Yeah, the best and the greatest tag teams are here to put on the greatest show for you to try and put on the best matches to see who come out the best tag team at the end of the season. Yeah, and of course, NSW, we, so much is put on the tag team division. So many critics of the tag teams around uh, the world saying that tag team wrestling is dead and there's not enough good tag teams. But here in NSW, so many, even on SmackDown, NXT, we've seen that the best tag teams are here and this is where you want to be. How could you not love tag team action? It's twice the action at one one match. Yeah, look at this. Chance your rope right near here. Yep, Giant Limbo was almost put out. The, the hounds just look like they're on a different um, kind of planet to the Russian connection. The Russian Limbo has just not got out of the blocks. And this could be it, you know. What impre yeah, what impressive strength by Leo Mercer able to lift up the big Limbo like that. Yeah, but oh, Yui Watson. The, the equalizer, you could say here. Look at this limbo now. Limbo got mine. Uh oh, this cannot be good. Oh, big choke slam from the top. And now we're going to see Vladimir in for the first time here tonight. A kick to Leo there. Oh, but a shot back in. You can't keep big Vlad uh, Vladimir down for long. And you get this man on a, a bit of head of steam and you're in an awful lot of trouble. And I think if uh, the Russians were ever to split up, that Vladimir would probably be one of the best ones out of the team up to possibly run for a title chance. Yeah, look at this nice shot again. But he might have just let Leo get in. But Jason, distracted by Vladimir, has let Limbo in here. And look at this. Oh, no. Now we're going to see the double team. Big headbutt. Don't think a headbutt's really going to do that much damage, would you, you would think. Not really. With the size of the head of Limbo, I don't know if headbutting was the best idea. Oh, but that might be a big forearm right to the side of the face. End of the cover. Hook of the leg. And he got him. And the hounds are going to the rumble. Big win for the hounds. We'll have to see how they can do in the rumble. Wow. Even though it's going to be every man for themselves. The Hounds are in the Rumble, ladies and gentlemen. And you've got to think, if them two can get in the ring at the same time, it might spell trouble for the other 28 competitors. Congratulations to Leo Mesa and Jason Crew. They are heading to the Rumble in 13 nights. Well, let's see how they can do. It's going to be a big night for them in that match. Congratulations to them. We will see them at the Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, remember NSW comes your way four times a week. Raw on a Monday, main event on a Wednesday, SmackDown on a Thursday and NXT on a Saturday. Remember shows start 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West. And of course, if you're on YouTube, please do follow us at Nonstop Wrestling UK. If you're on Twitter, it's NSW underscore 360. And of course, if you have Facebook, it's NSW 365 to keep up with all the action from NSW. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have got women's singles action coming up for you next. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by the It Factor, the Mundo. She is Megan. Well, let's see how Megan can do here in uh, her first match on Raw. Yeah, as Megan, we haven't really seen her in uh, action for a while, but she was going to take on Hannah Bradley here tonight. It should be very interesting to see how she'll match up against Hannah Brightly in one of the BFFs. Of course, Summer Rae, um, of course, the women's champion at this moment in time. 
defended the title against Aksana last week on SmackDown. And of course, we will be finding out uh, shortly who the, the number one contender for the women's title is um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, of course, before the Rumble. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see which woman, uh, woman walks out as the champion. But uh, Megan trying to, to uh, uh, try and get her name out there, as you would say, back into the wrestling ring. Looking as beautiful as ever. Megan, ready for action. But her opponent, ladies and gentlemen, from Seattle, Washington, accompanied to the ring by the women's champion, Summary. She is Hannah Brightly. Hannah Brightly came in with a uh, lot of momentum, but hasn't been able to do much since then. And uh, she is the partner with uh, Summer Rae, who is the current world champion. We'll have to see if that has any effect on their relationship down the road. Yeah, of course, these two Summer really stay together. Hannah really helping Summer Rae keep the titles. As, uh, but now, really, can Hannah try and get in to be in the number one contender? We, as I see. We're going to find that out next week, ladies and gentlemen. We've been told the number one contendership match. So Summer is not going to not going to know for long how who uh, how big her opponents are. Sorry, but now she's got to sit and watch her BFF in action against Megan. And of course, Maz, who are you going for in this one? Um, I'd have to, I guess, go with Hannah Brightly. I mean, she has been wrestling for a while now, and this is uh, Megan's first match here on Raw, and. Might be a tough one for her. Mm. And of course, Megan, don't count Megan though. Megan was women's champion, if you remember, in back in season one. So she knows how to get things done. Of course, she's been spending a lot of time as the manager of, well, of course, MMS first and now the Mundo. And uh, what do you make of this whole thing of last week, Maz? We haven't talked much about it, of uh, Megan and Mundo going to Matt and Mike and getting their services, you could say, just to protect them. Well, you think uh, anybody that goes up against the Disney Alliance would want to look for some backup. I think uh, Mundo and Megan made the right decision to look for uh, some backup. And Matt and Mike, uh, they kind of came out and helped them out at the end there. Yeah, Mundo calls it, suffering a three-on-one beatdown towards the end. Um, really taken apart by the Disney Alliance. Uh, really has to show that, you, really, friends, you desperately need them. That's all I can say. Or at least uh, maybe a group to stand up against this Disney Alliance. They seem to be kind of trying to run rough shot, rough shot over uh, all the NSW Raw superstars. Yeah, and back to the match. I'm making a nice bulldog center of the ring. Can she follow it up here? No, and two kicks. No, and a miss. And look at that. Make it hurricane run a takeover. Nice knee. Just trying to step it up here. Yeah, Megan Chun. Very, being very impressive here. But look at this, Hannah. Oh, nice sweep. Hannah, a bit too quick for Megan there. Maybe the rustiness of Megan not wrestling in a number of weeks here might appear uh, very badly here. Look at this. Oh, come on, referee. You can't allow that, surely, by the hair. And look at this. Me and Hannah now just dissecting Megan here. Taking her time. Summer is plodding on. Mundo doesn't look happy on the other side, though. I mean, he's over there throwing his hands up in the air like, what's Megan doing? Yeah, I'm sure after what happened last week, Mundo would be in high spirits, especially with the news that he's going to be in the number one contendership match for the United States title a little bit later on. Hannah, though, oh, oh, here it comes, this big elbow drop. And we've seen that before. Mundo is definitely not happy on the other side of the ring there. Hannah is just taking... A popular, look at this! Oh my goodness! What is this? Oh wow, what a submission! Hannah's all over uh, Megan here tonight. Back and forth here. Hannah. Oh, but Megan turns it around. Nice drop to hold. Can Megan turn everything around here? And oh, here we go. Oh, good night! Knockout! And that is it, surely. No, King of two. Oh. I'm surprised Summer Rae didn't try to get involved. And what is the... Wow, look at this. Megan. It's like some kind of submission. Megan has Hannah locked in here. 
Someone is being told to get down. Hannah's in a lot of trouble here. And that is it. But has the referee seen it? No, I don't think he has. Oh, he has. Hold on, he's called for the bell. I guess the ref heard Hannah crying out for mercy there. And just called the match on her. Yeah, and that is it. A big win for Megan here tonight in this, well, a comeback match, you would have to say. Yeah, big win for Megan. Possibly, uh, maybe look for her to look out or go after Summer Rae's title eventually. Yep, Megan, of course, will be trying to get a new back out there, but I'm sure with Munda's guidance, it could be that we could be seeing one of these two with a title very soon. Or maybe both of them at one point. Oh, and we're backstage now with Joe Diaz, the United States Champion. Of course, we found out one, his, uh, is it his, do you know what kind of thing it is between them? Is it brother, cousin? Well, I don't know what it is. I, do, I haven't been told anything. I'm not sure. Uh, I just know they have the same name, so they got to be related somehow. Well, of course, we're going to find out who's going to take on uh, Joe at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, whoever is going to be there, they're going to have to definitely watch out for uh, Juan Diaz in his corner. Yeah, of course, we, we've seen what... Uh, Juan can do, especially for Joe last week, um, if he can do the same here at the Rumble, it means Bethwick, uh, sorry, not Bethwick, sorry, um, that Joe is going to be, un well, unstoppable, you could say. Yeah, it's definitely going to be tough for whoever's going to go up against Giovanni. Going to have at least uh, another person out there to kind of contend with. Yeah, and of course, the size of one as well is not going to help that uh, any opponents for Joe... Uh, in the future. Yeah, we'll have to see how uh, the match goes tonight and see who's going to face Giovanni at Royal Rumble. Well, thanks, Renee. Let's continue on, ladies and gentlemen, because it is time for the number one contendership match for the tag team titles. Making their way to the ring, the team of Matt Rhodes and Mike Shala. We'll have to see how these two can do. I mean, they had a big win last week, and maybe they can get a big win here tonight and become number one contenders to possibly fight Zadland and Tim Reach for those tag team titles. Yeah, and of course, we've seen them seem back in good spirits despite being attacked earlier on tonight. And of course, remember, Matt Rhodes is still your hopping as well. Yeah, I think the, the attack backstage may actually have uh, helped maybe fuel their fire to want to succeed in this matchup here against the Disney Alliance. Well, we will find out what will happen here tonight. We've got one team. We're now just waiting for the second. Really got to love their entrance song. It's a great song to listen to. I know, I've seen you tapping your foot there. Can they do it in the ring? That's the thing. It's only really the second week as a tag team. And this team has been former tag team champions before. Making their way to the ring. It's AJ Z and Killer Whale. Yep, we saw Killer Whale return last week. and uh, Disney Lights had a great matchup. And we'll have to see if they can do it here again tonight against uh, Matt and Mike. Yeah, of course. AJ Z and Killer Whale defeating the Hounds here last week. So this has got them into this match and a possible chance of, well, we'd say about AJZ being the complete underdog. Imagine what would happen if he had to face Tim Reed in Sadland. It's going to be three big men, big men in AJZ. It could be uh, maybe AJZ's breakout story to see how he can stand up against the two big giants there. Well, we're going to find out because it is time for the number one contendership for the tag team titles. Okay, Maz, who are you going for in this one? Uh, it's, a, it's a tough one, but I uh, might have to go with uh, Mike and Matt in this one. They looked pretty good last week, and uh, teaming here on Raw. I'll we'll see if they can put together their win to get take out the Alliance. Yeah, of course, we will find out. Of course, uh, the United States title as well is uh, the number one contention for that. We've seen already Joe's opinions on that. But talk about the tag team division. We were seeing it before just in the other match. Zadlan Timridge, current champions, they've had their own problems with 
a number of teams in recent weeks. And now, really, if they go up against someone like Matt and Mike, who they haven't faced, that causes more problems because Matt and Mike surely have the advantage of knowing how Tim Ridge and uh, Zadlan uh, work. Yep, it's going to be a, a definite great matchup to see which either team, uh, Matt and Mike going up against either Zadlan and Rage or even the Disney Alliance and uh, AJZ and Killer Whale. Yeah, and Make for a great matchup between the two teams. Yeah, and Matty are looking to for the tag, Killer Whale down. This is about the best place you need, Killer Whale is on the ground, yeah. No, but AJZ now in the matchup. And yeah, Killer Whale may still not be uh, fully back on the same page with AJZ since his returns. That's we'll true. have to see if that Hold on here. That Look at the throw! Sorry, AJZ throwing Mike halfway across the ring. And as you see, we go on about the, how, the size age is he, but you've got to think, he has been in there with a lot bigger men than Mike, and he's sort of showing that he's not scared at all about who he steps in the ring with. Yep, you, you can't let that little uh, short stature and small size fool you. He's definitely one of the best NSW superstars we have. Yeah, and just a two count early on here. And look at this. Age is he. Oh, get burned! That's it! But he might have busted Mike open with that. Hopefully, Matt will get in there and get that save, or they're going to lose this match. Yeah, into the cover. A bit too close to the corner, though. Just only getting a one. Remember, guys, if you're new here tonight and on our Twitch TV channel, please do follow the channel. And, of course, follow all the links that are below the stream as well. If you're watching us on YouTube, as always, good evening to you guys as well. I hope you're enjoying the action from NSW as we do each and every week. We have four times a week. And the fans really getting on AJZ's back here as Mike in the ring takes him down. The referee's starting to lose some control of this matchup. And here comes Matt, former commentator here on uh, Raw. Now trying to continue on. In two. Oh no, big insecurity. Right to Might the. Be it. Yeah, that could be it. End of the cover. No, just a two. Big DDT by Rhodes takes an AGZ down here. Rhodes in control. Shall Let's get see him. Uh oh. Uh -oh. AGZ just doesn't seem like he's, he's feeling any of these shots. Well, he's starting to come back. Oh, block of the shot. Big fist and another one. Off the ropes. Time for the big boot. Yes, it is. AGZ hitting the leg drop. This one is surely over. Into the cover. Hook of both legs. One, two. Oh, Mike breaks it up. Could have been it if Mike didn't get there for that save. And look at this, Killer Whale back in now, going to try and get advantage of Matt here. Whoa, hold on, both men going at it. Hold it, out of our picture here guys, you can't see this, but AJZ has been taken off the apron, taken out. I don't know who the hell that was, someone hit him with a chair right in front of us, and out of all of this here. Well, I... Mike threw Matt in the chair, ref didn't see it. Yeah, and this is... Oh, you are joking. How can they... And that's it. And yeah, they got one over on the Disney Alliance here tonight. But who there was, was Joe the... Disney out there to help them out. Who was the guy that took ages here? We didn't get to see it. The guy, a, a, a masked guy took ages here out. I couldn't tell you who the hell it was. I didn't get to see who it was. He hit him and then ran. But, well, Mike and... Matt are number one contenders. Yeah, big win for Mike and Matt. And now they go forward to the Royal Rumble, ladies and gentlemen, which comes your way August 17th, live on our Twitch TV channel. Remember, guys, the only place you're going to see it live is here on Twitch. Make sure you are here to watch it. Who's going to make it to WrestleMania? Who is going to make it to a guaranteed main event slot? You will find out when 30 men enter the Royal Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready 
for the number one contendership match for the United States title. Making his way to the ring, he is Jess Believe. Yeah, we'll have to see how Jess can do here in this matchup. He had a couple of big wins recently, and we'll have to see if he can come out of here with the uh, number one contender spot for the U.S. title. And what do you think, Maz? What, what? I didn't even see the guy who just hit AJZ in the back. Came out, hooded guy, hits AJZ out of picture, and then all of a sudden disappears before we even get a chance to see who it was. He was dressed all in black. It, it was difficult to see anything. Uh, maybe we'll find out later, maybe next week, to find out what happens in that matchup. Yeah, of course. You would have to think the, the Disney Alliance, Joe Disney, is not going to be happy that his guys have just been screwed out the number one contendership uh, match. We are going to. And, and then to make it matters worse, with a referee down, Mike hands Matt the chair, and that is the number one contendership match over and done with. But now, guys, United States title. And listen to this, Ma uh, Maz. Ricardo Rodriguez has said, or GM, that this match is not elimination. It's going to be one fall to the finish. Yeah, it'd be very interesting to see which person walks out. I mean, it's going to take a lot of effort to make sure both opponents are down and out so you can get the pin. Yep. Making his way to the ring, guys. He is Bobby Hall. Bobby Hall looking to change up his uh, mantra. Doesn't want to be considered hardcore much anymore. Wants to move on to bigger and brighter things. Hopefully here he can get the win tonight and go on to face Giovanni for the uh, US title. And if you think, if anybody could um, counteract the size of Juan Diaz, it's going to be this guy. Yeah, I think Bobby Hall is definitely a person that would walk into that kind of a matchup. Not have any fear for anybody. Yeah, this guy has, we've seen him, multiple hardcore title reigns. Can tonight be his breakout night? We will find out. Bobby Hall, ready for action. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, from Las Vegas, Nevada, he is the it factor of NSW, The Mundo. Hope to see how the Mundo can do in this matchup after his big win over Ryan Fox last week. Hopefully he can get the win here tonight and maybe go on to face Giovanni at the Rumble too and get his uh, chance at winning the US title. Yeah, and of course guys, if you want to see who wins this match, why don't you uh, tweet us out of course using the hashtag of the competitor, hashtag Jess, hashtag Hall or hashtag Mundo as well as vote in the NSW off. Come on guys, get our name out there, use the Twitter as much as you can to tell everyone that they're missing an, an unbelievable night here of NSW action. We are ready for the triple threat match. Maz, pick me a winner. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Bobby Hall now that I found out that it's a uh, one fall to a finish. I mean, I think he's the uh, most qualified to take on at least two competitors in a matchup. Hmm, now we find out, Lewis. Has anyone... Uh, well, sort of half Russian leg sweep shot thing. Yeah, let's move on. As, <laughs> Some kind of combination. Yeah. As uh, Munda now has Jess up. And it seems like these two are double teaming Jess early on. Usually that would be good strategy, but in this one, it's first person to get the pinfall wins. Yeah, but I think you're going to have to, like I said, take out, each, take out both opponents and at least maybe get one out on the floor to get the other guy down in the ring. Mundo now in a bit of trouble. Double team coming up, maybe a bit of uh, back thing. And another Russian leg sweep, a clothesline combination. And Well, Bobby Hall has not been on the receiving end of anything really so far. Really doing wise strategy here. Big neck breaker from Jess on Mundo here. And big splash again. And now look at this, just a double. Now Jess has realised that maybe it's time Bobby Holtz gets uh, some punishment in this. Yeah, it's back and forth between all three of these guys and no one's really taken a clear advantage so far. Yeah, look at this, it's just one shot after another. Dropkick missed by Bobby Holtz as anyone, even someone who believes, can do a Russian leg sweep. 
You have to believe in that. It was a great Russian leg sweep. Nice, Mister. But Hall now going to the outside. Remember, this is no, this is not hardcore rules. He can't get away with hitting Chesil. I don't know if he can be disqualified though. If he gets disqualified, what happens then? Nah, I think this may be no disqualification. So anything could go. I don't know why, but he keeps coming over here near us, and I'm getting a little bit worried as uh, Mundo takes the fists right to the face of Jess and then shot by Mundo, but again Mundo not paying attention but still manages to reverse big belly to belly suplex taking Jess over here but with this triple threat you just see double teams happening again and everybody's trying to work together to try and eliminate each other and it's going to be the one person that's not expecting it. It's going to go for the pin and get that victory. Yeah, look at this. Hall trying to take advantage. Hit Mundo right. Well, why is he not pin? I don't get this at all. He's one it's take not a hardcore. It's not hardcore, Bobby. He, ha he, had him he, won. Knows. he had him won. And all of a sudden, just decides that he went. Maybe he's tying with him. Maz, you just don't know. But look at this! Yeah, Out of nowhere! M5! Could do it. Jess is tied up in the ropes there. End of the cover! Hook of the leg! No hook of the leg, sorry! Two! Whoa! I... Really? Did I just... There's still there's still life left in Hall. I'm surprised he was able to kick out of the M5, though. Anyone! Even Bobby Hall, who's just survived an M5, can do a Russian leg sweep. And I, well, Jess is just hitting with the club. We've seen him finish people off. Hall has took two finishes and is still in this. It's getting impressive. Let's see if uh, Bobby Hall can keep going and win this one. You've got to be with the fans are standing here in, in the arena. Hall again. Oh my goodness. Invaded DDT. Cover. No hook of the leg. You have got to be kidding. Oh my word. Bobby Hall did it. Impressive win for Bobby Hall. Moving on to face uh, Giovanni for that US title. You have to say, Diaz, your tr title is in a lot of trouble. Really, what a win for Bobby Hall here tonight. A stunning win for Bobby Hall. He will now meet Giovanni Diaz at the Rumble. I think uh, Giovanni's title may be in jeopardy. I think Bobby Hall might be the one to take it from him. Yeah, big win here tonight for Bobby Hall. And he now moves under the rumble. I am in shock. After him taking that M5, I didn't think he was going to be able to do it. Uh oh, hold on. <laughs> Maybe this is the message that people have said, that they said earlier on. Bobby Hall just going through a big match and well it, oh no this doesn't look good it looks like Giovanni is letting him know who the champion is oh my god no 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 oh my god will Bobby how, Hall be ready for the US title defense how, how can they get away with that the guy's just been through a, a triple threat match and then he, all of a sudden Diaz out of nowhere, hits him with a pipe, hits him with two chairs. Come on, Maz, that's not a, a ch how a champion should behave. Yeah, to me, it looks like a scared champion. Well, you've got to see any means possible, but the United States title will be on the line at the Royal Rumble. Well, guys, yeah, come we'll to see. Yeah, coming up next it is a non-title tag team match, making their way to the ring, accompanied by Dean Ambrose. It is Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, The Shield. Yeah, this is our first chance to see the uh, Shield here on Raw after their draft pick, uh, being drafted over from SmackDown. Well, let's see how they do up against the tag team champs. They were very good over on SmackDown as the tag team competitors. Yeah, they of course former tag team champions, of course, and the group known as The Shield. But they're going to be up against some tough opposition when they take on the team of Zadlan and Tim Ridge, our tag team champions, in our next match. Yeah, this will definitely be a big test for the Shield here. But they look ready. 
As, ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring, they are the reigning, defending MSW Tag Team Champions, Tim Ridge and Zadlan. Yeah, this tag team has been very impressive since forming a couple weeks ago, coming up against the uh, Hounds and taking the tag team titles off of them. Yeah, Tim Ridge we'll see how they in. can do up against the yeah, we'll have to see how they can do against the Shield here tonight. Hopefully they can get a good win. Well, we will find out. Remember, non-title, guys. We now know Tim Ridge and Zadlan are going to take on Matt and Mike for the belts at the Rumble. So they're going to have the Shield to deal with here tonight. Yep, hopefully they can keep their mind into the matchup here against the Shield and not worry about the Hounds or Matt and Mike. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Off and underway. We have our tag champs versus the Shield. Who are we going for in this one, Maz? I'm going to have to go with the tag team champions. I think they're going to want to show their dominance here in the tag team division. And look at this early on. Could this be a, a very quick victory? You know, Seth Rollins trying to end this early on Tim Ridge. He needs to do a bit more than that to the tag team champion here. And of course, some little uh, history for you here, Maz. Tim Ridge becoming the first person to hold the NSW tag team titles um, with two different people. So there you go. Hey, definitely really good at making a tag team partner, so we'll have yeah. to see if uh, him and Zaylan can hold on to those titles. Yeah, but T Roman Reigns has a lot of power. Definitely the, the enforcer of the shield here. As nice tag in to Seth Rollins with Tim Ridge backing out. He has the monster Zadlam. Oh, and that's what he can do. Don't be put off by this the size of him. Cover and just a one early on. Of course. In just uh, less than two weeks, uh, Zadlin and Tim Rage will be defending those titles against uh, Matt and Mike. Yeah. Be a great match. Should be. We already the rumble is turning out to be what could be an absolute massive event. Of course, we will know one competitor who will be in the main event of WrestleMania for season two. Maz, you have to think. It is all on the line in 13 nights. Yep, can't wait. It's going to be a great night of action. Of course. Could, could Cesaro get in there and do be a two-time winner? Could very well possibly be. I mean, you never know. I mean, it, a lot of things can happen in the Royal Rumble, and we'll have to see what happens in this year. Yeah, and of course, remember, that's the, the good thing about NSW. The unpredictability of the matches, of course, you, just when you think it's going to go one way, here it comes back and the, the superstars and it goes another way. Yeah, it's going to definitely be a match that's going to make a superstar into a main eventer here in NSW. Yeah, and of course, it did exactly the same as you've seen before for Cesaro. Who could it be this year? Could it be any of these men in the ring? Because seeing that just because you're in a match like Tim Rage or Zanlan is, doesn't mean they're going to be, they could also be in the Rumble as well. Yeah, there's a lot of people vying for those limited spots in the Rumble this year. Uh-oh. This could be the end for Seth Rollins. He's getting him up. Uh-oh. Tombstone coming up. Yes! Hits it. That is surely it for Seth Rollins. Good night. Zadlin's walking around the outside. Or I actually say Rage is walking around the outside. Yeah, and it just took a bit too long. I think Zad Zadlan didn't have far too long to get rid of uh, Seth Rollins here. As Seth managing to somehow recover here. Spinning DDT off the top. Looking to put big Zadlan away here. This would be a big upset win for the Shield, really, seeing it's their first night against the champions. And Seth here picking up Zadlan has to really stay on the big man got him in the right part of town as they would say and you are joking are definitely looking at oh, oh I say the shield are definitely looking impressive and that's definitely impressive right there that is it surely that is it we've seen Seth Rollins put people away before there's two oh but just in the nick of time Tim Rage comes in we thought the shield were going to pick up a big one the shield have just seemed like a little bit st a step too far here in front of our tag champs again Seth is really stepping it up here yes yeah, Seth Rollins has been very impressive in this one into the cover hook of the leg is that enough to put the champs it is wow it's 
it's not good for uh, Zadlan and Rage taking the loss there. They must not have been in the right frame of mind for this match. Yeah, what a huge win for the Shield here tonight on Raw. And they have taken out our Tag Team Champions. A huge win in this non-title match. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to look out. Uh, whoever walks out of our Rumble is the Tag Champ, so I'll definitely look out for Shield. Yep. Yeah. And of course, will we see these guys in that match at the Rumble? We will find out. But tonight, the winners are the Shield. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Hounds? What the hell? What the hell is that all about? The Hounds really want to send a message to Zadlan and Rage. They definitely want their tag team titles back. But they're not number one contenders, man. What, they, what business have they got? I know, they, I know they're bitter still, but there's no need to do that. Well, I guess uh, they still have a grudge to hold against Zadlan and Rage from what they did. and I don't know if we're ever going to see the end of it. Hopefully they'll be able to work out something. You've always got to be careful, though, that the Hounds might just boil into that tag team contest. And that's one thing you don't want. We want to see a fair fight. But coming up next, Sheamus, the world, the number one contender, sorry, for the world heavyweight title, is going to take on Disney member uh, Travis Soul with Ryan Fox in his corner. I don't know, looks like Disney's found a way to maybe soften up Sheamus, so uh, Brian Fox will have an easy match coming for a Rumble. Yeah, well, of course, the, with the Rumble only three nights away, and of course, Ryan Fox, of course, defeated by the Mundo here last week. Uh, now, not in action, hopefully, trying to get Travis Soul to do some damage to Sheamus. Maz, you're, on your opinion, can you see Sheamus walking out of the Royal Rumble with the belt? Uh, it's very possible. I mean, Sheamus has been known to fight through a lot of battles and come out to victor. So, even though uh, Brian Fox is probably going to have uh, Joe Disney out there by his side, I think Sheamus will find a way to get that victory. That's true. Making his way to the ring. He is from Dublin, Ireland. He is Sheamus. You know, let's we'll see if the Celtic Warriors got what he takes and can he stop the Disney Alliance here and. Put Travis Soul down, go on to face Ryan Fox and possibly win uh, his first uh, world champion. Yeah, of course, he's won the NSW Championship over on SmackDown. He could become only the second man to do it if he can win in 13 nights. But of course, remember, Joe Disney st stoking the fire up last week, calling him the Scotsman Irishman. Uh, remember, Sheamus has not been happy with Disney before in the past by that. Just trying to maybe get under the skin of uh, Sheamus a little bit. Yeah, well, you know Disney is always wanting to poke the big bear and then send his minions in to do the work. Yeah, we will find out if Disney will be in the corner of Ryan Fox come 13 nights. Of course, where is Joe Disney tonight? Nobody knows where he is. Hopefully, if you stay tuned to our Twitter or our Facebook, we might get some updates for you. And of course, we'll let you know. And of course, guys, remember, our next uh, program coming up from NSW is main event. Comes your way on Wednesday evening. Of course catch the stars of Smackdown and Raw on main event coming your way same time same channel and of course Maz uh, Sheamus here you would want to think would you think he would want to put this match to bed early and uh, really get out of dodge not really get take any damage despite the match being 30 nights away yeah, he's definitely going to uh, have to keep an eye out there for Ryan Fox though and possibly want to Use his power and strength to kind of whittle down Travis Soul's chance at winning this match. But yeah, of course, this is your main event, ladies and gentlemen, of episode 30 of Raw. Of course, we are just well one more episode away. Look at this, Sheamus with a power, big power bomb. What a shot, Sheamus! There we go with uh, Sheamus using his power. As anyone. Even someone as white as Sheamus can do a Russian leg sweep. Yeah. Travis Soul still got some life left. He's still trying to try and fight back here. Yeah, but Sheamus just knocking him down really a good thing. He's just sending a message out to our World Heavyweight Champion Ryan Fox on the outside here. And look at the Sheamus and again who catches is... Travis Soul. I think maybe that's why Ryan Fox is out here, maybe to scout Sheamus to try and see if there's any kind of weakness or maybe look for a weakness that Travis Soul might bring up. Yeah, but you've got to say, so far, Maz, Sheamus has been mightily, mightily impressive. 
Okay, he's been able to take it right to Travis Soul here. Been a very back and forth matchup. Yeah, look at this back in again now. Travis Soul trying to get something going here. The Soul Man of the Disney Alliance. Personal hairdresser to Joe Disney as well. High stylist, sorry, um, to Mr. Disney. And uh, don't get it wrong, Travis Soul can get the job done. A former tag team champion in his own right. But Seamus looking for white noise here. Oh, nice! Right down, centre of the ring, end of the cover, no hook of a leg, no, just a two. Impressive, Travis Soul was able to kick out. And a Soul kicking out, sorry, I'm being apologised, Travis Soul is a former hardcore champion, sorry, I, not tag champion, apologise there. As uh, Soul working over, nice chop down to uh, Seamus, and uh-oh, could we be seeing the Soul drop? Yes, we can! Maybe we're going to see a big upset here. End of the cover. Hook of the leg. No! Just gets a two. Seamus. Uh-oh. It's at the cross time. Goodbye, Travis Soul. Right on the back of the head. And I think... I think that's going to be it for Travis Soul. Yeah, end of the cover. No! Fox up distracting the ref. There you go, that is what you do for having a manager at ringside. It always gives you that advantage. And so, oh, nice tilt the world slam. Seamus just picking up where he left off. Referee still distracted by Ryan Fox on the outside. Seamus has really got to keep going. Could that be enough to put away Travis Soul? Yes, it is. And Seamus is your big winner on the main event here tonight. It's not going to be good for uh, Ryan Fox. Uh, I think he would have liked uh, Travis Soul to come up with the victory here, but Sheamus riding that wave of momentum heading into the pay-per-view. Yeah, Sheamus, big win here tonight. And now we will have his eyes firmly set on Ryan Fox in 13 nights to, for the Royal Rumble. But the, an overall, a bad night for the Disney Alliance and a big night for that man, the Irish Celtic Warrior. Seamus. Well, maybe Joe Disney will think better of taking the night off and actually come here for Raw to help out his uh Oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 hold on. What the hell? Maybe this was the plan all along. Yeah, Travis Soul finding that pipe again. Well, where did Ages 8 come from? What uh, the, the Disney Alliance starting to gang up on Seamus here. My God, come on. There's no need for this at all. Oh, wait, hold on. Here's the cavalry. It's Matt and Mike. Here comes uh, the groovy one and ghostly gremlin coming down to save out Seamus. Two weeks in a row, they have stopped the alliance. This is going to heat up in the next couple of weeks. Mike and Matt, well, they are really going to get under the skin of Disney after that one. But Maz, what a roll. And we now head into next week, the last episode before the rumble whoa catch your breath time yeah an impressive night of action and i can't wait to see what happens come for a rumble Boo. and we guys our next match uh, next show next show is main event join us for that but from now man see you the fans see you next time fans and from dave easton thanks for watching we'll see you for main event